Hey everybody! I stole that from Gus Monkey TV. Uh, I'm doing a collab with him this week with Napoleon. It's Sunday, October 10th, 2010. Sorry if I look tired, everybody. I was up a little later than I meant to be last night. I wanted to go to bed early last night, which would have been about 1 uh, a.m. for me. That's early for me on a Saturday night. I was about to go to bed, but then right before bed I got on Twitter. And uh, I follow Neil Gaiman on Twitter. I hope I pronounced your name right. You don't watch my videos anyway, Neil. Um, he's a famous writer. He's written, like, uh, graphic novels and novels. Like, he's written Sandman. I think he wrote Coraline. He's done, like, stuff for feature films, too. And uh, his fiance or wife, I think his fiance is uh, the singer-musician Amanda Palmer. And every once in a while she does um, live shows that she streams on the web, too. And so I was about to go to bed, and I saw... Amanda Palmer's doing a live show on Ustream, so obviously I had to go. Unfortunately, I missed most of it, but I caught the last five uh, songs or so, so that was awesome. If you haven't seen any of her work, I recommend it. Uh, it gave me an excuse to listen to some of her older uh, Dresden Dolls stuff this morning. Yeah, they make an interesting couple, though. I mean, it's like age difference, but that's beside the point. Um, you know, he's this creative writer dude, and she's this awesome singer-songwriter chick. I, I could see how a guy would, you know, fall for a singer-songwriter chick, the creative type. And then I was about to go to bed, you know, so it was about 2 a.m. But some of the best ideas I have, creatively, story-wise, come when I'm, like, laying in bed. I'm about to fall asleep or I just wake up. When I did my Disney vs. Marvel video, that was one of those very, very rare cases where I woke up with, like, the story in my mind. I woke up and, like, 90% of that cartoon was in my mind, and I knew I gotta run to the computer and type it down because I know when that happens that if I don't write it down right away I'm screwed um, as you can see I have notes everywhere when I come up with an idea I've got to write it down right away or it it takes off my mind doesn't believe in remembering things so it's about 2 a.m. and I I come up with an idea for burning cactus thing so I you know I get up and I sit down and I start writing it and that kept me up to about three so if there's a new burning cactus the next couple of weeks that was it I've written I don't know maybe half of it or a third of two different ones I'm not sure how I'm going to structure it yet so I slept a few hours, and then I woke up with a Wizard of Oz parody thing. And that's one of those things where, you know, I wake up, and I have an idea, so I go, and I write it down, and I go lay back down because I'm tired. And then uh, I expand on the idea. You know, I'm trying to sleep, but my brain, I have an overactive brain that doesn't like to shut off. So I have to, you know, like walk back and write another note. And so I spent, I don't know, half an hour, an hour, just trying to get to sleep and thinking of more and writing it down. So if you see Wizard of Oz parody in the next few weeks, that's where it came from. I guess I'm moving on to questions. Yeah, moving on, because that's the moving on sign. That's not the I'm a total dork sign. Durr. Oh, I like that now. I could do that for hours. Durr. See, I was Tarzan there. I was... Moving on. Skeledude444, can you show us your house? Like a time-lapse tour of your house slash apartment? Whatever the hell it is? No. No, I cannot show you my house. Uh, Dolly Perro also asks, what came first, the fruit or the color orange? My guess would be the color orange, though I can't guarantee it. Um, I would just think that um, there are certain flowers that are orange, and I would guess that they are simpler genetically than an orange tree. So I would think that they would have come first in the evolutionary, um, what do you call it, hierarchy? Vidmus with four zeros says, Paul, what inspired you to make bird and cactus? Well, that's a little bit of a long story, so, you know, get yourself some hot cocoa and set... Settle down. If you've ever seen my video, Monsters 2, I believe on YouTube it's called Monster Movies or something. The year before, I'd made my original Monsters, and that had done good on the film festival circuit. Well, relatively good at medium to small film festivals. It was a success. I was happy about it. I decided to make a second Monsters because I wanted to, you know, do more, try and grow my career. And so I, I started the second Monsters, and it, it just grew way out of control. I, you know, I wanted to have a short time period. It took, like, two months to make. It came out like garbage, in my opinion. To this day, I will not watch it because I hate the video. Uh, I did not like the artwork. It, and no matter how, there's a there's a term in Hollywood that you can't polish a turd. And in my opinion, that was a turd. It was like there's one good joke in it, and it's not worth how long it is to get to the joke. You know, the joke could have been done in like literally 12 seconds, and I don't know how many minutes the video is, three or four or something. And then like the artwork, I, I wasn't very good at perspective at that point. And so literally, this thing took me like two months to do, and I thought I was done with it. And I look at it, and it was crap, and I had to do a whole new ending, which I added like a couple weeks to it. And by the time I got done with it, I was just pissed. You know, I had made tried to make this for a film festival crowd for film festivals, 
and I, I, I hated it. And I was like, after that, I was pissed. And I was like, the next video I do, I'm doing just for me. Nobody's probably ever going to see it. I'm going to do it just for me. And I'm going to do it fast. This thing took like, you know, a month and a half, two months. The next video is going to take no time at all. So the first thing I did is I remembered I long time ago, I'd drawn a bird and cactus and I liked them. And I thought, okay, I'll find those and make them into characters. You know, it's, I don't have to draw it new. And I couldn't find them. I looked and I looked. I couldn't find them. So I thought, okay, what the hell? I'll draw a new one. So I drew a new bird and cactus, which are basically the current ones. Uh, birds change slightly in design, but cactus is, like, identical. And I drew them, and then I stole a set from a different cartoon. Th their living room set is actually from a different cartoon you will never see. It was a cartoon I made about a bunny who was on crack that wasn't that good. And, like, in that, you know, it was, it was quick. I just stole another set. And then, basically, because... You know, the Monsters 2, I hated so much. And I'd made that for a crowd that I thought people would see. So, you know, there's not really a lot of swearing. And the adult content isn't huge. When I made Burning Cactus, I thought, fuck it, I'm just making it for me. That's why it's about smoking pot and smoking crack and shooting cops. It's all this stuff that I thought was funny that I never thought, you know, I'd show to anybody else. Because I'm like, that's too adult. Nobody's going to want to watch that. And then the weird thing is, after I made it, I ended up putting it on my old website... That, that was before I was on YouTube, and then that was the thing that everybody I knew liked. Everybody's like, I, I love that. I want to see more of that. And so after I made that, I figured I was never going to make another Bird and Cactus again because I loved that cartoon. For the longest time, that was my favorite cartoon I had made. And when you make a second cartoon, it does not come out as good as the first, and I didn't want to go through those growing pains. I thought, okay, I love this one. I am never making another Bird and Cactus. And then later on, um, Comedy Central contacted me, and they wanted me to pitch them some stuff. And so I pitched them Monsters, which was successful on, at the film festivals, and I had three of them. I purposely didn't pitch them Bird and Cactus because I wanted to make Monsters, and I was afraid they'd take Bird and Cactus if I pitched it to them. And so they gave me a contract for Monsters, and I made the web cartoons for them. But as a part of the contract, they had an option on Monsters for like a year or two afterwards where, you know, they had the exclusive rights to do a TV deal or a movie deal or another web deal uh, for another web season. And so in that, like, period of time, that year where they had that option of Monsters, I couldn't do anything with Monsters. I had to just wait to see if they wanted to pick up the option or let it expire. And uh, I decided I wanted to make a TV pilot at that time, and the only other franchise I really liked that I had was Bird and Cactus. So I, I reluctantly took Bird and Cactus out, and I made a few shorts, and then I made the Bird and Cactus TV pilot, which was an utter failure, but a lot of the clips from the pilot have ended up on YouTube. And so that's the long story of where Bird and Cactus came from, and actually why they're on YouTube now, and, and they are my most successful regular series on YouTube now. So thanks for your questions, everybody. Uh, feel free to leave more. Uh, sorry if you missed my blog TV show uh, last night. I didn't end up doing it. My lovely co-host was out of town. Uh, next week she's busy too, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do a solo show. Maybe I'll be busy. If you watch me on a blog, if not, at least in two weeks, the, the Casanova Lady Um Show should be back. Uh, until then, take a look at some of my cartoons and videos, and thanks for hanging out. Because of the collab, time will tell. If you want to come here and animate for me, well, I just hit puberty on that, do you hear? Yeah, if you want to come and... Oh, and I became old. If you want to come and animate for me! Speaking of old, or maybe I should say lazy... Usually I wear pants when I do this, but today it's kind of warm down here. So I thought, check this out, I'd style my boxers. And this is, if you're a dude, if you're a dude, this is the way to go. Check check out the styling boxers, and then I'm wearing, like, yeah, check out that out. The sexy socks to go with the boxers. 